There is no such thing as could have. I feel like there's only did. You know, I feel like we live too much of our life in reference to stuff we could have done. In reference to stuff that in reality has never existed and will never exist. And I'm saying that to say that, you know, you need to free yourself into the present. You need to stop attaching yourself to this hypothetical nonsense that, that comes into our brains and just learn how to be present. And what I've come to realize is being present is basically the key to everything. It's the key to your overall success, your longevity, finding out who you are. You need to find out the things that make you feel most like yourself because at the end of the day, I feel like everything happens for a reason. Everything. And that's not to say, like, if something bad happens to you, you deserve it. I'm saying that, you know, things happen, and that's the facts. It is, at the end of the day, what it is. And we have to learn to either accept that or get stuck with it. And learn to appreciate wherever we end up. The choices we make do matter. But after you make the choice, you have to live with that choice. And that's to say, be present enough to choose on your own. Be present enough with yourself to understand what you want and how your choices influence you. Because if you take a backseat role in your own life, I find that you're going to feel like you're not responsible. And your life is just going to suck or maybe it'll be great out of lucky circumstance. But if it sucks, you try to blame it on something else, you'll never get anywhere. At the end of the day, it's always going to be you versus you. I feel like once you get to that point, once you realize that, you know, your life is sort of in your own hands, it gives you a, a better sense and a better understanding of what it is to just be. I feel like in our minds, we get so caught up in this idea that that who we are isn't influenced by our external world. But to some degree, you know, we're influenced by how we influence it. We're influenced by how we choose to to project our own ideas, project our own mentality, and project our own self onto other things. Everything is just a relationship. It's a relationship between yourself and your observation, your perception, and your perspective. And if we can control anything, if, if I thought one thing was integral to someone's success, I would say it's their perspective. The way you look at the world is the way the world looks at you in a way. You have to sort of embody, sort of feel how you want to feel or feel how you want to feel about something before it, it kind of shows you. And in doing that, you have to also make sure you're doing the things that allow you to have that kind of control. Because what I'm coming to realize is it's not so much about knowing that you can. Because I feel like a lot of people know the things they need to do in order to, to get to where they want. Well, I feel like a lot of people who watch videos such as mine or any other creator or anything in the scope of self-help or philosophy, or, you know, you absorb a lot of information and you have a lot at your disposal, but it may at times seem like, you know, it's not going anywhere. It may at times seem like, oh, I just know this stuff for no reason. It's not really helping. And I think sometimes it's not helping because you're not giving it the space to help. Or you're not giving yourself the discipline to get help. Sometimes it's not just about the realization, but the actions you put forth and the choices you make. And that's why I said everything happens for a reason. Sometimes, you know, you'll keep making choices and you'll have this mentality and it'll keep showing you that, you know, nothing's going to work unless you start putting in some. And, you know, either you pick up that lesson, you pick it up from the fact that, you know, I'm not going to say nothing's coming your way, but maybe things aren't going in your favor. Or something like that. At least that's what I see in my own experience. You know, the way that you, uh, at the end of the day, feel about yourself is how the world's going to show you. And I feel like a lot of us don't do the stuff that we need to do in order to feel good about ourselves. And I'm not talking about in the sense of just like, oh, taking care of yourself, but oh, taking care of your responsibilities to the extent that you need to. And realizing that, you know, sometimes you have to give something up to get something in return. You know, you have to, uh, you know, you have to give up your old life to live your new one. You have to give up yesterday to experience today. And 
And saying that, I mean, you have to let go. You have to let go of some things that, that aren't serving you and let go of some things that are just distracting. At the end of the day, your purpose or what you, you wish to do, what you hope to do is somewhat beyond some of the mundane trials and tribulations of the day to day. And I don't mean that to say don't interact with people, don't waste your time, don't lollygag. I mean, be intentional with what you do. And realize when you are deviating from the path that you chose for yourself. When you're doing something, ask yourself whether or not it's going to contribute to the betterment of you overall. And I'm not saying don't relax. Of course, take this in moderation. But realize that you are responsible. You know, you have to take responsibility for yourself. You have to take yourself seriously. And you have to make life intimate. As intimate as you make life, as personal as you make your experience the more you'll be able to influence it, in my opinion. The more intentional you are with what you do on a day-to-day -day with how you feel and how you think and making sure you're doing the stuff you need to do in order to control that. And if you don't know what that is, I'll go into a little detail right now. Uh, first off, I would just start by reading. Reading anything that has to do with betterment. My recommendation is uh, Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dis... Dis Y'all know it. And, uh... Practice meditation, but not necessarily just sitting down. I feel like meditation is anything you do that makes you feel like yourself or makes you feel like you're going back, getting back to yourself. I would say do stuff like that. At least that's what's worked for me. And once you get on top of your mind and your feelings, you know, start cutting out those little things that just take away your time. Like maybe don't be on TikTok as long. Maybe don't be on Instagram as long, but, you know, interact with people as much as you want. But. You know, dream. Realize that, you know, the world has so much to offer you. Look at yourself in sort of a third person perspective kind of way. I feel like that's always helped me. You know, just looking at yourself in a third person perspective and looking at what you're doing. Like if I'm sitting on my phone for, on TikTok for two hours straight, I have that sort of perspective. I'm like looking at myself in third person. Perspective. I'm like, what am I doing? I got to get up, get moving and do something that's someone going to contribute to me. And I'm not saying, saying take your life super serious, but make sure you're being conscious of what you're doing. Be present enough to realize when you're allowing yourself to slip up sometimes, allowing yourself to, to get lost. But like a lot of us find ourselves every day, but like we all have our moments each day. We find ourselves and then like 30 seconds later, we get distracted again and we feel like we're off track. And it's not about getting on yourself when you're off track. It's about pushing yourself forward and doing the thing regardless of how it feels, you know, in a way. And just telling yourself that that's what you do. Like, this is what I've committed to doing. This is what I do. This is who I am. And the more and more you allow yourself to agree to that, the more and more you accept that, the more and more it'll be your reality. And eventually it'll get to a point where it's no longer constant habitual effort. It's just a consistency. Consistency of self. And I feel like that's one of the most important thing is having consistency of self. I feel like that's somewhat hard to achieve, but at the same time, it's not. It's just about being consistent with the way you're appreciating and the way you're uh, looking at the world, not necessarily letting it slip through your fingers, but also, you know, making room for yourself to be yourself. And I'm not telling people to, you know, be hard on yourself, I'm telling people, you know, allow yourself to make mistakes. Allow yourself to exist because at the end of the day, every experience is going to teach you something. You might not know it now. You might not know it later. But every mis every experience has something to be learned. And, you know, in saying that, I'll go back to the point I made earlier with the fact that you have to kind of accept whatever path you uh, put yourself on in this moment. I'm not saying if you're on a path to something, you can't change it. I'm saying that... You know, if you've made a choice in the past and it led you here, you have to learn how to maneuver here. But like we spend too much time in the past and our thoughts trying to think of ways we could have done stuff differently. And to some extent, that's good. You can you can think of that just in case a situation like that happens. But in a real sense, you have to be somewhat real with yourself and understand that, you know, that's going to be preparation for the future. And that is the past. So you have to be like, all right, I thought about that, like, all right. I'm over it. 
let's move forward what can i do now that's gonna be better i made a mistake here how am i gonna get better there instead of dang i mean i made that mistake what am i gonna do now you gotta you gotta live now i feel like that's it being able to experience what it is to be now becoming one with the moment and in a sense becoming one with everything not allowing yourself to be impartial not dissociative but associative with the present moment uh, all that to say much appreciated everything happens for a reason and i feel like i might change that you know further down the line because to some extent nothing does but in the sense that we're responsible in the sense that you know every choice you make matters everything adds up the law of accumulation you know you have to be here for it. so uh, if you made it this far in the video thank you so much um what else what else what else make sure you're being intentional summer's coming up we got a lot coming like i said i'm, I'm, I'm making that the podcast channel soon i'm gonna i think i'm gonna get at least like two participants while i'm still in school but all in all i, I probably focus on it more when i get back home um but yeah i appreciate y'all keep being y'all keep being great you know it's a, it's a tough time it's a tr it's a turbulent time finals coming up four exams this week and a paper we're gonna make it through though because we have no choice thank you have a great day